one here is unemployment rates are about to skyrocket. Just absolutely, and, and not necessarily nationally, but you are about to see a ton of guys on campuses being let go. And it is not just in these athletic departments. It is across entire campuses. I mean, it's going to be massive. College sports, in the form that we see it right now, is going to be changed forever because of these decisions. It just is. You're not so, going to get the same guys back. You're not going to get the same. Go go ahead, Chris. Well, one thing you got to, this is actually going to really hurt the the economics of our country, and it's not going to be really unemployment. How much around college football is a gig economy? It's not I work a nine-to-five job and I'm getting laid off. It's not that I work for the university I'm getting laid off. How much of I set up tents for people. I park cars on Saturdays. I And, and a lot of that was going away anyway. But Eight or nine hundred bucks. No, yeah, but I don't know, man. I think tailgating is still going to be a thing. All right. Yeah. We just watched a PGA tour event where no fans were allowed in and thousands of fans were lined around the fence. Okay. Yeah. You might say they can't come in the stadium, but you're not keeping them out of parking lots. There's not enough police in any of these universities to stop tens of thousands of people from tailgating outside the game. Yeah. It's you're, just not right. going to happen. So there is a gig economy around college sports. Okay. That is massive. Massive. Well, and then and restaurants these are not, and, these and are not else. guys that fill out W twos, okay? Yeah, or ten ninety nines, and 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 therefore that's a lot of people about to lose a huge chunk of income. I mean, that they a- depend on, that they count on, and they don't get to go just file unemployment because they weren't. Re- I mean, you know, it's just it's like working for yourself. If I if I if my business shut down. It's not as simple as just going and filing unemployment. Well, on, on top of that, it's not as simple as, uh, well, okay, we'll just pick up again next year, or we'll just pick yes. up in the spring. Like, yeah. you lose all your employees. You lose your your customers. You lose your business. Like, yep. that's just the way it goes. It's it's impossible to to think that we are just going to pick things back up and it's going to be perfectly fine. Darren McArdle jumps in, and he asks, is spring football what we're actually waiting for in college now? Not going to happen. We, we can... Look, we can be hopeful. I hope for spring football at this point. Like I hope. I'm done. Um, I'm done. I'm done being hopeful. But we're it, it's trusting not gonna happen. Any, we're trusting in people that don't know how to do anything. All right. They haven't even they had sit the conversation. They sit in their suits and they sit in their air conditioning and they sit in their nice mahogany desk and they and they they're talking about things they don't know anything about. Yeah. At all. Okay. And we're asking them, we're depending on them to make these decisions if they think the virus is going to be under control in five months, they're deadly mistaken. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it, it, Joseph Gomez said, yes, you're going to have to start from zero. Yeah, you, you are going to lose everything, a, a ton of the employees at these athletic departments that already have set jobs, that already have a process in place. If there's no television revenue at these big-time universities, the university is not going to fund the athletic department to keep these guys around for a job that doesn't exist for a year. It's just not going to happen. Uh, no, Albert the problem on is, is they said, do a job that anybody – there's no specialty to it. Right, okay? right. They, we, can, we can let Jim and Bill and Sally go, and next year Fred and George and, 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 and Stephanie will come in and take her place. And in, in okay? a lot of cases, you are correct with that. But in some cases, they are going to have to let go of guys that are you know very necessary – to the process that all of these institutions have built, right? It's just all it's I want. True. Here's what I want. This is this is what I've wanted my entire life. Th- this is what I need for the NCAA to bring a rain of thunder down. These are the low level people. These are the people that shuffle cash around. We saw it at Old Miss. Who caught the bag? Who who's the guy that everyone goes to? Somebody that if he gets caught, nobody cares about. We kick him to the curb. Whatever. Surely one of these people will be jaded enough to come out. I have no idea how college football has been around for a hundred years and we have been illegally playing pay, paying players gross sums of money for over at least 15 to 20 years in the SEC, I know. Yeah. Okay. And and we're not talking hundred dollar handshakes, we're talking bags of cash. You know how much cash you can fit in a bag? A lot, by the way, a whole lot. All right. I, and nobody 
nobody has ever had a tell all story of this is who, who I am. This is what I did. And this is how I did it. And this is who I did it for. Yeah. Yeah. And if those guys, and there's too many of those guys that these athletic departments thought they would never let go ever. Well, and, and on top of that, obviously we haven't even discussed how many other sports are going to be cut now. Like it's, it is oh, going yeah. to be a massacre and I'm, not looking for I, I know that's a tragedy. I know that's a downside of all this. I, I, Gary, I'm losing football. I don't give a damn. I, about I understand, softball but I mean, or soccer or, or gymnastics or swimming. I don't, I, I don't I know care that. at all right now. Look, I, it, you and I both are, are friends with people that work in athletics that don't work on athletic, uh, on, on football teams. That's and, right. and this is going to sting. This is not going to be good. That's going to suck. A lot of people in this world have lost their damn jobs because of COVID, Gary. Agreed. It sucks. I'm not saying it's it any sucks. different. I'm just saying like this. But, but at the end of the day, it's it's just what's going to happen. Yeah. Now you've got Am that Am I right. more upset that I'm not getting football? Sure. Matt Miller said. Because uh, I can't stop that. Yeah. Agreed. Matt Miller said, uh, how does Mark Emmert not say anything over the past few days? When every oh, other important person hiding has in a moved. hole, man. Yeah, the NCAA is not going to comment on this. They're just not like it. They got nothing to say about this. He came out and said the other day, like at the end of last week, that really it's it's up to each individual institution as to whether or not they want to play. That's all he said. Like he he can't make these decisions for these conferences. These conferences don't listen to them when it comes to football. The only thing that they listen to is when the NCAA wants to jump in with rules regulations, which. They're getting closer to not listening to them on that. I was just but, about to say, we're, we're at a point where, go ahead, tell me I violated some rule, that some made-up rule that you just created. Good yeah. job. I don't Ask me how much I care. You, know, you think that boy's not going to play? No, we're going to let him play. Matt Are you going to take a banner down? Nope, we're going to hang it back up. Yeah, Matt Miller said, so the NCAA. Take, take it down every week? It, he, he said the NCAA is just a pimp then. Yeah. Oh, that's all. But that's all. They, pretty much. I mean, this really, lies the problem with all of this. That's what they've been. It just takes something like this for people to have their eyes open and realize the complete fuckery that we've been living under for college athletics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think it's necessarily a coincidence, by the way, that uh, that the two conferences that decided to band together and do the, the hashtag We Are United thing, uh, those are the first two that canceled, by the way. Uh, Albert Gamboa, by the way, on Periscope, first-time viewer, he said, a terrible day for football fans. That is uh, 100% the truth. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, when the money dries up, the snakes come out. Yeah, you got that right. And that's it. We're going to see a lot of those. We're going to see a lot of them. Damian yep. Estrada said, what is more important, having a season just to get entertainment or keeping people safe? Again, we are going to disagree with you, Damian, on the fact that I'm having tell you the this, season I know Damian safer. catches a lot of shit here, okay? Yeah. It is it 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 takes some balls to come on a show on a regular basis and say the contrarian thing that nobody else is thinking or wants to hear. So I appreciate yeah. him listening. I appreciate him jumping in. I don't want to just let y'all shit on Damian. We just disagree here. Yeah. I don't think where these guys are going is is any safer than where they are now. Agreed. Now, if, if the, everybody does, difference. it's not about getting, if they told me they could play football and I couldn't watch it at all. And every day I just get a, every Sunday I get the newspaper again and I could get the box scores like we used to before all this shit was televised. Okay. I, I would be okay with that. I yeah. absolutely would be okay with that because I understand how much this thing means to the guys that actually play it. I know kids that have played it. I know kids that have been a part of it. I know coaches that are a part of it right now. It is so much bigger than entertainment. It just is. Yes, it, and we're trying to protect those kids, right? Yeah. But we're about to send them out into a world that's far more dangerous than where they are right now. Now, if they're not sending them out, if everybody is doing what the Big Ten is that's supposedly right. if going to do. Barry Alvarez's system is that, yeah. then, then, then I am going to have to adapt my, my, my argument. Because yeah. that's new information that I didn't have. Yeah, if, and and I kind of didn't think they would ever do that. I, I thought I'd still, 
I will have to see it before I believe it. I just My if there's no is, money coming in, I don't believe that they are going to keep the football operations up and running. Well, that, that's I just, it. That's I don't, it. How can they afford? How can they afford to have them continue? But obviously, to be there? they've got these massive endowments, right? So obviously, but they're not they got dipping money. into the massive endowments, Gary. But yeah, that's the thing. I don't think they're going to. I don't. They're, think they're willing to take out loans so they don't have to touch their endowments. Why yeah. would they do that? Uh, I mean, yeah. My, my issue you. is this, though. We're going to get back to liability. Let's say a kid has COVID, okay? But because we're not testing every day, because they're not actively playing and we're just letting them come in and hang out and work out and all this stuff, and it spreads throughout the football facilities. Now, who's liable and how are we handling that? And how are we going to address that? These are all valid By questions. By not playing games, but letting them continue to be a part of the football thing, the facilities, you didn't make anybody safer. No, and actually you the took away the initiative. The game is not the dangerous part. It's the it's the five, six, seven days a week of living on top of one another and working out and training together. Yeah, it, you, you took away the initiative to yeah. actually remain You safer. took the carrot away from running <laughs> running on the track. It's yeah. just, but, but that's okay. I mean, I'll tell you that I'll take them being, not playing the games and at least being able to stay a part of that, but then all their arguments for safety go out the window. Yeah, no, you're you're 100 right. Um, Joseph Gomez said, hoping the schools across all states get together and play a few games, and realize they don't need a board, a false CEO to make this thing run. Damian then says, uh, question: If y'all uh, say is that having sports and entertainment is good for mental health, how can it be good when you have players injuring themselves and getting concussions on the field every year? Well, uh, football is. I can't stop the concussions. Yeah, we, we, that I can't fix. I but, can't change but, the way the game is played. But everybody understands the risks involved. They still and you want and you understand play. that from Pee Wee football. Yes, I mean it. Just you're 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 going to get hurt sometime. It's yes. just a sprained ankle. You know, you might hurt your knee. I mean, Chris hurt his knee. Like if he there was still play, there he was a be. day and a time. There was a day and a time where I used to love the big hits and I love to watch them. And now, as an adult, as a 38 year old. I, I cringe. I cringe a lot when I see the big head hits yeah. because I know what it's doing to the brain today and I didn't know it before. And it, and it, and it, it causes me to have to make, you know, con- have conflict in my life. Okay. But, but I get it. It's just, it, that is a part of the game and we're not taking that out. Yeah. They're not, no, not right. playing because of head injuries. Joseph uh, Gomez jumped in. WCE got that hard lemonade sponsorship all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, Chris, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's something. just water. Yeah, it's just water. Just water. <laughs> All right. With that said, I don't uh, drink a lot of clear liquor. Now nah, you got that right. Uh, I, I mean, a nice tequila on the patio, you know. Oh yeah, I drink a lot of, but it's not the bad day. Dark. Now you got that. Anyway, right. all right, let's get out of here. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, you guys have been fantastic. Another wonderful day of uh, you know, big time viewership numbers. You guys are fantastic for tuning in. Thank you so much. If you like the show, please share it out. Tell your buddies about it. We are not going anywhere. Uh, no college football is not the end of the world for us. We are going to continue talking about the topics at hand. Obviously, there are other sports going on. We're going to be here. We are doing this thing. We enjoy just having a conversation. Chris and I like talking to each other every day. And this gives us a full reason to do it, even when we're really busy. So, uh, we're going to be here. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you are subscribed everywhere you can subscribe. And, uh, and knock out that podcast review. Five stars over on Apple Podcasts. We would definitely appreciate that. Uh, as I said, share out the show, tell your buddies about it. Go to sbrpicks.com. Um, if there is no college football, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing over there, but uh, I'm sure it is something. But go check it out, sbrpicks.com and sportsbookreview.com. That is where you can find our stuff on the CFB season right now. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for jumping in the chat and helping drive the conversation. We appreciate all of you. With that said, everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.